Listen, I know we've all had our jokes about Aquaman over the years. Even I did a dramatic reading of an Aquaman comic once, but I did it in the style of Keanu Reeves as Ted Theodore Logan from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And I think it actually went over pretty well. But, bearing all of that in mind, I think it's time we kind of put all of that stuff in the past. When you really get down to it, Aquaman's kind of a character that demands your respect when you really think about his power set. And I have to say that after I've seen the new James Wan film starring Jason Momoa, I am fully on board with seeing more of this character because it was such a fun movie. Like, when you get right down to it, there's a lot of action and adventure, there's some great acting in there, and it's all tied together really well. Like, I feel like whatever criticisms people might have had of DC films in the past, it looks like they might be moving past them. I actually personally enjoyed Justice League quite a bit, and he was definitely one of my favorite parts in it. So to have Jason Momoa in his own film to shine as Arthur Curry, aka Aquaman, was definitely a treat. I think once you get past the first 20 minutes or so where there are a few choppy parts to it you really get this great adventure film there's a little bit of a globe trotting aspect to it between him and Mara played by Amber Heard as they search for the lost trident of the first king of Atlantis and you've got a great villain with uh, Patrick Wilson as King Orm, aka Ocean Master, and you also have Yahya Abdul-Mateen II as Black Manta, and it's great to see in both characters how they have legitimate motivations for what they're doing, and that's really driving the story, and it's just amazing to see all of this play out, especially with Black Manta, because to see what kind of sets him off on his quest to get revenge against Aquaman and seeing how the character evolves and getting him getting his technology to actually become Black Manta was one of my favorite scenes in the movie and it's just this grand spectacle especially all the stuff that's happening underwater in Atlantis and you also get moments of genuine heart and emotion and development with these characters where Arthur is realizing that he's not perfect, and he's already reluctant about the whole idea of becoming King of Atlantis, but you see how he evolves over the film, and I think Jason Momoa did a solid job with it. I know a lot of people don't think he's a great actor, but I think he's definitely grown and evolved over the number of films that he's done, and he's amazingly charismatic, and... Think, I think he did a fantastic job with this film, and obviously this is a see it. You've got to go give it your, you know, maybe not, if not IMAX 3D money, at least give it your Dolby Cinema money, because this is definitely a film that you have to see in theaters to really get the whole effect of it. And, you know, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually looking forward to a sequel, so... There you go. I feel like this character is finally redeemed and maybe the general public can finally get on board and we can just leave all the Super Friends stuff in the past where it belongs. Music